Welcome to the official YouTube channel of 4 This is your host, AJ, and today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Masters of the Universe New Eternia Masterverse Battle Armor He-Man. I was able to get my hands early on this one, and I figured I'd open the box and let fans know what it looks like inside, and maybe this can help determine if you want to purchase this figure. The one thing that's really struck me here is the fantasy art on the, the side of the box and the back. I always appreciate uh, Masters of the Universe art. I mean, look at that. It really looks like the fantasy paintings of old. You know, I'm talking about like paintings like Frank Frazetta and used to be on like fantasy novels and stuff. Conan the Barbarian and the like. This really looks brilliant, and I hope they release some prints of this art, because this is pretty fantastic. You know, what's striking me also here by looking at this box, which this is strange, is on this um, also available figures, we see Battle Armor He-Man, and it looks like he has a brown beard. Is that a black beard? Is he using some sort of beard dye? I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's not like the fantasy art features a beard like that. Or the figure itself, and I don't believe any of the promotional pictures showed him with the dark beard. But alas, there he is. But it's just a minor quibble. So it's Mattel. Some weird things are always bound to happen. But let's take a look at the Masterverse figure itself. So we're just going to put this here. And we're going to move the, the box over here. You know what? Let's keep the box in the frame. Because that artwork is just so darn good. Let's just keep this right here in frame. And okay. So let's take a peek at this figure in the blister packaging. There we have the power sword, we have a battle axe, we have this very cool battle damage shield and battle damage armor and a couple pair of hands. Oh, <clears throat> and there's a dagger in a sheet. Um, okay. So let's see if we can pop this guy out of the, out of the packaging. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to pause this video because I'm not sure if anyone's going to want to really see. Oh, all these ties, man. I can't stand it. Yeah, so why don't I uh, go ahead and pause this video and then resume once I have them out of the packaging so you guys don't have to go through this ordeal with me. And this is our new Eternia Battle Armor He-Man. Now, according to the box, this Battle Armor He-Man, it says, donning his powerful battle armor, General Adams sailed farther than any other ship in the Eternos Armada in search of the mythical Isle of Greyskull and the legendary Power Sword. Upon finding the sword, he says, I have the power, and transforms into He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Well, that's interesting. So here he is, and let's first just take a look at this head sculpt. And uh, I think this is a decent Masterverse head sculpt. Um, I like how the eyes are painted here, how the nose is sculpted and shaped. I like that scar. The beard looks good. The hair, the paint application, the tone. Yeah, there might be a little too much dark on that side. But overall, this looks good. And this is a good Masterverse head. Uh, his armor is kind of plain, but I do like the sculpting and the design. I do like the belt. I'm not sure what's going on with this shoulder piece here. Um, I don't look at that. So if you turn his arm, does this shoulder piece require the, the bicep? That's interesting to stay on. You see how this stretches out? This looks like, at least at first mold, it only appears to be able to go onto a bicep in one way. That's this way, but why would I want to pose him like he's doing a Hulk pose? Well, this looks like it's probably going to be problematic, and we can always lose this off uh, Battle Armor He-Man. But uh, So he has his shoulder piece here. And um, otherwise, I like this. He has a dagger in his boot. Let's see. Make sure this comes out. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, it looks like 
It contains a lot of what we saw on New Attorney of He-Man. Yeah, so I really uh, like this battle armor He-Man. Um, in regards to his accessories, except what is this? Is this a beer cozy? <laughs> Do we have our first He-Man that can, you know, as a beer warmer or beer cooler? You could just put a can of soda right in here and take a drink whenever he wants to. What is this for? Ah, uh, this is for the shield. Look at that. Well, this is interesting. So he wears the shield on his bracer. How does that clip in? Okay. Uh, there's that shoulder piece being problematic again. So that's what it's for. So he can don his shield and go into battle. I'm not sure if I like Battle Armor He-Man wearing a shield. Yeah, I'm not sure if I love this look. I'm not sure if I appreciate this concept. And really, if he's going to grip something in that hand, yeah, it would be pretty hard to manage. So, um, oh, look at that. He can put the shield on his back. That might be a better place for it. There you go. Okay, yeah, I prefer it there. So you have this power sword with this great... Uh, what is it, like leather or cloth strapping around the hilt? Like it reminds me of the Filmation sword. You know, um, being a Filmation fan, I really have a problem with E-Man having an axe. I know it's proper vintage, but can you just imagine him chopping away villains with a huge double-bladed axe like this? Just chopping off heads and cutting off limbs. I don't know, man. I just prefer my He-Man, you know, more of the uh, Filmation, Revelation, Revolution type attitude, you know, sort of like a Superman, that he's not really looking to be a um, cutter of limbs like a barbaric He-Man. How does this battle armor... Oh, I see. It slaps off here. So, okay. So it looks like you can also adjust the battle damage on his faceplate here. Just snaps right in, and presto, you have battle damage. <laughs> I still miss the vintage for, uh, figure version that um, just has that little spring mechanism inside that flips around, and presto, you have battle damage, but that looks pretty cool. So he's a pretty good-looking He-Man figure. Um, I like this look. I like the bearded look. It's not going to be agreeable with everyone. But I think Masterverse has done a nice job here. A nice job with the face sculpt. Look at that. Look at that. I hope that's coming over the camera well. But he's like... I mean, what a barbaric He-Man, huh? Yeah, let's give him the sword, too. Got to do damage here. Come on. There we go. So I'm not going to talk about all the articulations and the joints and how well he can do a split. I mean, you guys can find that out for yourself. But uh, overall, I like this He-Man. I mean, he's ready to go to town with his uh, battle axe and his sword and his little um, coaster for his drinks. And uh, <laughs> okay, I could do without that. But uh, okay, so there we have it. This is the new Eternia Battle Armor He-Man. Hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. If you did, please give it a like, please give us a comment below, and please consider subscribing to our channel. And for all the latest Masters of the Universe Masterverse news, please visit us at foreternia.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.